Hello guys, welcome back to my working bench. So today we're gonna do a vacuum tube audio preamplifier. So without further ado, let's get close to my working bench and start doing this project. Let's have a look first to the schematic. So it's really simple. That use uh, some triode uh, vacuum tubes, 6N11 and 6N3G. Transformer with two secondary welding, one for the anode voltage and one for the heating element. I'm smoothing the AC voltage and I'm powering the heating element with the DC voltage smoothed by 10,000 microfarad 16 volts. The anode voltage come also this one rectified with a 6 amp rectified bridge and a capacitor of 4 470 microfarads 350 volts to ground to smooth it and I did stabilized voltage over here using a Zener diode a resistor and a BU508 transistor to stabilize 150 volts for the anode then uh, I will gonna try the schematic without this part over here and I'm gonna see if I have any home definitely I'm gonna do also this part connecting from the 150 volts anode voltage a resistor that I'm gonna see which one goes the best between 200 and 147k to the minus of the heating element and then from the minus of the heating element another 75k and 22 microfarads 160 volts to the ground of the preamplifier okay so here we go so far what i done because uh, i soldered the sockets on the pcb board just because uh, i needed to create this kind of chassis and uh, how you can see so far i did the power supply over here so i have the rectifier for the anode plus the capacitor that's smoothing plus the transistor with the zener diode resistor and capacitor over here i have another rectifier bridge with the 10,000 microfarads capacitor for the heating element and here in the board i soldered the sockets in order when i did these uh, holes in order that i'm gonna mount the vacuum tubes here on the front and i'm gonna have here the potentiometer maybe with the input plugs and uh, at the back the power switch with the cable that uh, power on the mains so that's the board and all the vacuum tubes are in these boxes and then here I have all the components that we're gonna go to solder on this board so let's get them out from here now you can see are nice some Elna capacitors and I have Wemos for the output the 2 watts resistors and some the other resistor that we're gonna be soldered on this board okay guys so before start soldering I just want to mention that I'm gonna use uh, this Nichicon 100 microfarads 250 volts instead of the Elna that are just 10 microfarads 450 volts because I want to smooth it really good in order that uh, I can have a really smooth DC voltage. I'm gonna put them aside and I'm gonna just keep these ones here. For soldering I'm gonna put this aside because this one we're gonna need it after we finish all the board. I'm gonna put here PCB board holder for soldering, components, iron, printed soldering wire and some flux. So guys without further ado let's start soldering everything in place. I already put all the components in the right place so the only things that I need to do is just start soldering everything on the right place. have a look how that looks on the other side so it looks really neat I have power supply for the anode power supply for the heating element input and output here so yeah output here and input here left right channel left right channel so now let's put them inside the chassis and let's connect the power and see if it's doing how it should okay guys so let's put uh, everything inside so we don't need this one anymore and here let's have a look we're gonna cams like that let's put this stuff back and this 
we're gonna be like that. Let's tight a bit. Now I just need to connect the power and give a try to see if everything working. So I have the negative and this is the positive, negative and positive. I'm gonna put the negative over here for the heating element. Positive on here from the heating element. Then we have negative here from the anode and then positive I'm gonna connect only after I'm gonna heat up a bit the vacuum tubes because it's good that the vacuum tubes are already heated before the anode voltage can to be applied to, to the vacuum tube. Okay guys so it's uh, time to put the tubes on. So this one is the N3, 6N3, it will gonna be mounted over here then these two are the 6N3 that are the one that they get mounted over here let's put it in a way that you can see the tubes to see if they glow when I'm gonna power so let's power right now I can see they already glowing so if you can see they already glow see there is a little light over there and now I can apply also the power for the anode and try to see to put signal in and to see what I'm getting on the output now we're gonna do a, an oscilloscope test with the 1 kilohertz frequency and we can see here we have 1 kilohertz and uh, the yellow is for the input and the red for the output so let's increase the amplitude so I set up same voltage per division so for the input I have 2 volts per division and for the output 2 volts per division so on the input we have uh, let's bring it to 600 uh, millivolts so we have 600 millivolts on the input and on the output we have 5 volts 0.7 so almost 10 times amplifying the signal from the input to output it's keeping clear and also I can go all the way up with the amplitude it will not have any distortion now let me bring the channel uh, 1 to see that even if I have 16 volts output RMS with 1 volt point six input still doesn't flood the line so I'm really impressed with the with this uh, preamplifier doesn't flood the line and amplify 10 times the signal let's now do a quick test also with the 20 Hertz and with 22 kilohertz here we go with 20 Hertz so 20 Hertz still doing really well I have same 2 volts per division for the input and output input 645 millivolts output 6.1 volt RMS so for 20 Hertz is doing also well let's try now also the 22 kilohertz okay guys same uh, setup two volts per division two volts for the input two volts for the output input we have 600 millivolts output we have 5.6 6 volts RMS frequency 22.8 kilohertz which is handling perfectly see it's not flooding the line doesn't do any distortion on the line so it's a pure sine wave signal on the output as well also with 22 kilohertz I'm really impressed with this preamplifier so I'm gonna finish uh, the first part of this project over here because I need to speak with Vishal to do a 3D print for my front panel over here in order to mount the input connector, output connector and a potentiometer in the middle. Definitely I'm gonna use a power switch at the back here from where also the cable is gonna come out. Then on the second part I'm gonna use my Hiraga amplifier with this preamplifier and I'm gonna do a sound test. So please stay tuned, subscribe, activate the notification bell to don't miss my next video when I'm gonna do the second part of this project. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it put a like over there down, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding this uh, project, regarding this schematic, and I'm gonna be more than happy to answer to your comments. Until the next video please guys, stay safe and bye bye.